So I recently took part in the first ever Squid Games for ARK. I'm sure most of you know what the Squid Games are by now, but for those of you who don't, there is no need to worry as you can enjoy this video regardless. This is exactly what happened and how I almost won the entire thing. It all started when I came across this link to a YouTube video from Aaron Aztec, a fellow ARK YouTuber who has made some great 100 days videos. The message was simple enough, come and join in some games for a chance to win a cash prize. So I joined. After all the formalities where Aaron and his intimidating admins invited us all to a tribe in a small wooden box, gave us the opportunity to cut our hair and get to know some of our opponents, like Rasclock, our legend, Chromida and others. Once we'd all equated ourselves, we were led into a strange room and the doors were locked behind us. Next thing we knew, gas grenades started raining in from the ceiling, knocking us all unconscious. As we woke up from our forced slumber in a strange yet familiar room, we were given strange green jumpers to wear, and the man in the black suit was back to greet us. He welcomed us all to the Squid Games, distributed some food of which I got a measly one piece of steak and a half empty water skin, before having us all led down a hallway. At least tried to lead us down but we were locked out before even having a chance to follow so they had to come back to fetch some of us. As we arrived in a long narrow hall, we were told we would be playing red light, green light. A kid's game where if the light is green, you go, and if it's red, you stop. If you go when the light is red, then you're out. Simple, right? Wrong. As the game started, it quickly became apparent that this was no simple red light, green light. The red suited people were proceeding to shoot and kill everyone who moved when the light was red. So after a nail biting stop, go, stop, go, being sure to stop before the light had a chance to turn red to ensure survival, and witnessing friends dying at my side, we were through to the end of the game. We were led through a confusing mass of colourful stairways and halls into a room with taps and refrigerators to stock up on water and food. I was sure to do just that, pulling up two water skins and grabbing a few stacks of meat. I did not want to have to worry about food or water while I was stuck here. I finally took the time to look around the room and saw four doors, each with a different symbol above it. Seeing the symbols, I assumed we would be having to collect the item for each one. I picked the wood symbol as I thought it'd be easy to get. Boy was I wrong about the challenge, but thankfully it was still an easy one. We were tasked with remembering and drawing the symbol in a single brush stroke. I was able to complete it successfully, but yet another person had to die right next to me. As we continued up into the next room, I could see us all getting funneled into a singular path and I did not want to be at the front. I wanted to sit back and see what we had to do and boy was I glad that happened. For the next task we had to jump across these scar platforms, but one would disappear and one would stay. If we jumped onto the platform that disappeared, we would be plunged into a deadly pit of spikes and trudons, a horrifying way to go. Fortunately, the admins managed to show off the first and second jump already making this task way easier. And with two people to go before me, there was no way this would fail. That is, until Chromida missed the first jump, plunging to his doom in death by Trudon. Next up was Rasklock. Having made the first jump, but then was just short of making the second, which would, would have failed anyway, as I already knew the left one was the fake. He fell into the pit, only to be completely ignored by the mass of Trudons, dodging round and round with them, unable to catch him thanks to his superior speed and agility. But I couldn't stand around watching him forever. I easily made the first jump to the right. I knew I couldn't take much of a run up for any of these jumps as the lag back on the tech hatches would certainly kill me should I try. I barely made the second jump, catching the hatch with my toes pulling myself up. I now had a choice to make left or right. Thankfully I caught a glimpse of the right disappearing and reappearing from the admins flying over, so I knew I had to go left. I took a short run up and easily made the next jump. On to the final one. Only one jump away from completion. I had a 50% chance of getting it right, but just thought to myself, it's been right, right, left. So surely this next one must be right again. And success. I made the jump as I saw the left one disappear next to me. But the games weren't over yet. In the next room, I was greeted with a missing floor and no clear way across. I could barely make out the reflection of the glass pane in front of me, so I knew I had a slightly longer run up than it appeared. 
I leaped across only to be then shown that the entire floor was glass anyway. I was brought into another room to see the, that Ross and the rest of the admins waiting in a changing room with suits waiting for us. We were asked to change and head into the next elevator where we were taken all the way up to a massive scar platform. The final battle was on. After a short introduction, the fight was on, circling around each other. I was outmatched and outleveled, so I had to try and be smart here. I couldn't just run in fist flying. And then I made a grave mistake. I jumped in only to get punched straight off the edge to my doom, dying instantly on the mountaintop below. I'd like to thank Aaron Aztec for hosting the event. It was good fun. Aaron makes primarily 100 days videos and I've seen him streaming as well. Be sure to check him out. As well as a shout out to Ross Clark for winning the event. Be sure to check him out as well. He makes great news content as well as has a Fyodor series going on on the Monarchy server. Thanks for watching. Have a fan freaking tastic day and I will see you next time.